Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. We're going to have a look at the month head forecast today, the month of January uh, 2013, and I'm going to attempt to uh, do a prediction for the uh, coming month. Now, before we go on video, I just want to talk about the advertising. There usually be a video ad overlaying my web videos at gaswebvis.com. Please play those videos, you should be supporting gaswebvis.com. By doing that, I want to talk about Gav Shop. Gav Shop is still open for business. You can uh, click on the Gav Shop button underneath this video player, go through to Gav Shop. And then from Gav Shop, click on the Amazon.co.uk banner and go through to Amazon and get all your January sales bargains uh, from Amazon.co.uk. You'll be supporting Gav Shop and gaswebvis.com at the same time. Thank you very much for doing that and just want to say that Gav Shop will remain open until the last day of January, 31st of January and then I'll be closing it uh, for the uh, coming year until we get towards Christmas when I'll reopen it once again. And thank you very much I say for doing that and for supporting the website. Finally I want to mention that uh, all the charts that you see in this video come from websites that can be found on my links page. We're going to be using the CFS uh, version 2 model and the Beijing Climate Centre both of those websites can be found uh, on my links page, or at least the links to those websites can be found on my links page. Click on the links and see the charts for yourself at websites I'm using. So, just want to quickly talk about uh, what happened in December. December forecast uh, was an absolutely terrible forecast, completely wrong. Uh, the forecast was for a cold and average month, it actually turned out uh, near normal. It was for a much drier month than was the case in November, actually one of the wettest Decembers uh, for a very long time. The stats aren't in yet, but it's one of the wettest Decembers for a very, very long time. And in terms of uh, snow, I said we'd probably have more uh, snowfall than uh, normal. And barely any snowflakes fell anywhere in the country away from the mountains so it was an absolutely appalling uh, forecast for me I've got to apologize uh, for that it was a real stinker definitely uh, a miss rather uh, than a hit and everything was going so well through the first uh, part of the month but then around the 14th 15th it had that flip uh, where it all uh, the blocking just collapsed and we brought in very deep areas of low pressure from the Atlantic gave us copious amounts of rain, all that horrible uh, flooding towards Christmas and yes, much milder temperatures as well, so the cold first half was offset by the mild second half and in the end temperatures finished up uh, very much near normal so again I have to apologise for that, definitely uh, a miss rather than a hit uh, for the December month head forecast. I've had a run of pretty poor uh, forecast for a monthly forecast uh, over the last few months, so let's hope January is going better, I'm going to cross my fingers uh, for this one. So we're going to start off with the 500 bit of our height anomalies from uh, CFS version 2 and this is the uh, 500 millibar height forecast at uh, 700 millibars, I should say. The 700 millibar height anomaly is not the 500 millibar heights, but uh, the Beijing Climate Centre, we'll look at those in a moment. These are the 700 millibar heights, and we see that we've got uh, low pressure troughs of uh, low pressure being predicted here, stretching right away from the eastern seaboard of the United States through the Atlantic, through British Isles, and on into Europe as well, and then going further out into much of uh, Central Europe. So, a really uh, strong jet stream is being predicted here uh, from CFS for uh, Jamie blasting across the Atlantic taking troughs of low pressure. We've got a bit of a ridge here uh, to the south above average height stretching from the Azores in towards Spain. This is a very classic uh, sort of zonal uh, type setup with a very uh, dominant, uh, dominant Atlantic feeding in uh, below average heights. So the result of this, I have a uh, very warm month, a mild month here across much of the continent, just the far north of Scandinavia, uh, getting cold and average temperatures, really much of the continent forecast to be warm uh, during January, or at least very mild at least. Of course, once you get towards the east of Europe and the north, easing towards Russia, uh, then of course these anomalies would still be very cold, two Celsius above average in Russia is still very cold by our standards. Um, but in the west here, we've got uh, temperatures indicated be around one to two Celsius above normal. Uh, much of Britain, France, low countries, uh, Germany. Uh, that is a mild month uh, by any stretch of the imagination uh, for much of Central and Western Europe. And it's hardly surprised we've got jet stream blasting in uh, from the Atlantic. In terms of precipitation, the models go for a wet month here for the British Isles and much of Central, Northern, and Western Europe also indicated wet month. The Azores high keeps the parts of Spain average to uh, dry, but Portugal is wet but uh, really we're looking at a wet and a mild month here uh, for British Isles if the CFS version 2 model 
is correct. The Beijing Climate Centre is a little bit different. Uh, the below average height is actually pushed much further north of the month. This is the uh, 500 millibar height only. This is what I was talking about. Start off with. Sorry about that. I got a, little, got a little bit confused. The CFS is 700 millibar height. This is the 500 millibar height from the Beijing Climate Centre. It's the same idea, just a slightly different area of the atmosphere. Uh, but below average height is uh, pushed a little bit further north here through Greenland and to the north of the country. We're actually under uh, an, an anomalous ridge here across much of western and uh, uh, northwestern Europe so we've got above average heights here around the Bay of Biscay stretching up to the British Isles so that still indicates we're going to have a very mild month here the temperatures are in the warm category uh, of course it won't be warm because it's January but certainly well above average and you can see that much of Europe uh, islanding towards Russia and Siberia as well actually forecasts have a very mild month in fact much of the northern hemisphere is quite mild uh, with this actually it does make when, given how much orange areas on this chart it, it uh, makes you wonder uh, whether the Beijing climate centre has sort of lost the plot a little bit with this it's hard to believe there'll be so much above average uh, temperatures across the northern hemisphere uh, this month but nevertheless from the uh, anomalous pattern with that high pressure city just to the southwest you would expect a mild month and that's what model is predicting and in terms of precipitation well actually uh, the wetter than average conditions are pushed further north because we've got that uh, trough of low pressure further north and with the anomalous uh, ridge of high pressure down to the south West actually uh, much of England and Wales in particular is forecast to be uh, average to slightly uh, drier than average but in any case both models both the CFS uh, model and the Beijing Climate Centre are going for a mild month now I'm not entirely convinced about these models this month because we've got the stratospheric warming going on uh, in the atmosphere. I'm not sure how much of this, uh, the uh, how much of the stratospheric warming these models are uh, are uh, picking up on uh, just at the moment. Um, so what I would suspect is going to happen is that again we may get a month of two halves here, but the reverse of what happened in uh, in. December. What I think is going to happen is that the first uh, part of January is going to be very mild, particularly this opening week, going to be exceptionally mild really with temperatures perhaps 3, 4, 5 degrees above average, so a really warm uh, start to the month certainly. Uh, but as we go through the month, it will see a gradual trend uh, for those temperatures to drop off and by the time we get through to the final week, I think we do run the risk in the final week of the month of seeing some quite cold weather. Now how cold, how extensive, how wintry, I um, I can't say at the moment and it's possible that this stratospheric warming will never impact the British Isles it could impact other parts of the Northern Hemisphere and if that's right then these models have picked up on the correct signal and it will be a very warm uh, month but my guess is that uh, we'll start to see the uh, temperature sliding off it'll be a gradual process probably but sliding off through the month so by the time we get through to week three and week four in particular particularly week four I'm focusing on uh, for colder uh, weather now will that be enough to offset the warm beginning it probably won't be so I would say that the models are probably correct in suggesting that January will come out a little bit above average or above average I'm saying it's going to be a little bit above average these models are suggesting uh, well above average I'm not convinced about that I think the uh, second half month will offset to some degree the warmth in the first half uh, so but in the end the temperatures do come out a little bit above average I also think it's going to be a much drier month particularly the first uh, part of the month where we're under this uh, ridge of high pressure this warm ridge to the south of the country I think we will see uh, some reprieve from uh, the unsettled uh, weather from the flooding but later on in the month as the temperatures slide I think it may well turn more unsettled with that as well so uh, precipitation probably coming out near normal overall maybe slightly dry on average but probably near normal temperatures probably above average still above average I'm suggesting um, but not as warm as the miles are predicting a warm start gradual slide in the temperatures, a colder, uh, colder than average final week particularly I'm focusing on and in the end temperatures do still stay above average for the month uh, but only just, just a little bit above average, uh, not the very warm month that uh, we will be seeing if this pattern that we're starting off with, what we've got at the moment, was to continue right way through month it would be one of the warmest Januarys on record but I don't think it will, I think we'll see a gradual slide away in those temperatures so the temperatures finally finish up uh, just a little bit above average so that's the forecast from gasworthys.com uh, slightly above average temperatures overall for month but a month of two halves warm to begin with cold at the end and in terms of precipitation 
uh, around normal, maybe slightly uh, below average, but around normal precipitation. Again, a month or two halves with a very dry first part, and then a much more unsettled uh, second half with that slide in the temperature. Been a really hard month to uh, pinpoint though this. It would be very easy to go with those models and suggest a very mild month, but I'm not convinced by them. But it's been a really hard month. I'm not confident particularly in this forecast, so we're going to have to wait and see how it goes. As ever, I'll be, coming, I'll be back in February uh, with another month head forecast and to evaluate what happened in January. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.